never, never, ever give Trevor shampoo. Because if you give Trevor shampoo, he'll drink it until he's drunk. And definitely until he's blackout. When blackout, Trevor will want to adventure outside. If Trevor manages to get outside and he's blacked out, he'll feel on top of the world. The world will feel like his playground. He needs people to know this. Which will most likely piss off some of our neighbors who don't like us to begin with anyway. Before you can react, Trevor will already have a plan, usually involving a tire and iron. But you live smack dab in the middle of suburban hell. So time to drag Carl to the car. Your roommate's inability to read a room mixed with his psychosis has made your Saturday all about hiding Carl, which really, really sucks. You liked Carl. But now you've found a secure place, got rid of Carl, and can finally go home, take a long shower, and just think about everything. Until, that is, a cop that's been on your trail since entering the park lets himself know. Nice. Real nice. It goes without saying, Trevor is in utter confusion, which, I mean, I guess is sort of fair. A cop does look a lot like the guy you killed. That's not a standard issue cop car. So apparently, the guy you killed was this guy's identical twin brother, and they're both the toughest enforcers from the illest gang this side of the Mississippi. Because of course they are. Fuck your life. So this is it. I hope now you get it. Trevor drinking shampoo equals death. You just want it to be done. Want it to be easy. You want it to be quick. Or, that is, if not for one mysterious stranger, somehow, some way, the luckiest of people happen to be right place, right time. And besides that stranger pressuring you to buy a busted ass iPhone 6 from him on the streets for money in exchange for his services, you're done. You're able to go home, sleep, even if you're out $200. So trust me when I tell you to never, never fucking ever give Trevor shampoo. You bastards killed my brother. I loved him with all my heart and you took his life away. I used to watch SNL every night with him on the couch. But I didn't really like Jimmy Fine. Wait, fuck. His name isn't Seinfeld. It's fucking Jimmy Fallon. I fucking hate that guy. 